When treating pain, it's important to realize that in general, higher doses are better for relieving pain, but lower doses are also better to stimulate healing. Now, especially if you have a powerful LED or laser, we're talking about with 5,000 milliwatts, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 milliwatts, you have to always titrate up. So always be careful to start off with a lower dose and titrate to a higher dose. And then when the patient's feeling better, start to lower the dose as they get better and or lower the frequency of treatment because that will be more helpful at stimulating healing. The other thing to remember is that the deeper the problem, in other words, what's deep? Well, things like the hip socket, deep inside the knee, what's superficial? The skin. So if it's deeper, you may have to keep your probe or your LED moving a little bit more because you have to use a higher dose because you want more photons to get deeper into the tissue. And always use a lower dose when you have something that's superficial. And don't forget some of the introductory things I taught you that when you have Light skin, you have to lower the dose. Thin skin, lower the dose. Dark skin, increase the dose, but move the probe more so you don't create heat because darker skin absorbs more photons. And then remember that it's a bell-shaped curve. What's a bell-shaped curve? It's kind of like a big inverted U where the middle of the curve is the optimal dose. And that means if your dose is a little bit low or a little bit high, you're okay. But if it's seriously low or seriously high, it will not have positive effects. The last important point to get across to you is that in acute problems, that means a lot of pain, where something is really hindering someone's ability to function. You might wanna treat more times per day. What does that mean? It means a herniated disc. It could be a post-surgical pain. It could be after very bad accident. So the more times per day you treat, the lower the dose. So if you treat once per day, let's say you give the patient two minutes of treatment. If you treat twice a day, maybe do a minute and a half. If you treat three times a day, maybe do one minute or just a minute and a quarter because there is something called the total body dose and if you treat too much, as we talked about flare-ups, you can actually increase the pain or cause fatigue or anxiety. Mm -hmm.